Did you know you can add an extra 1,250 keywords on the back end of your Amazon account that greatly increases your organic rank, which increases your organic sales, and Amazon hasn't told anybody about this. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group, and my goal is to make you a millionaire and make sure you stay a millionaire on Amazon. If you stay until the end of the video, I'm also gonna be giving you extra tips on how to create these backend search terms. Let's dive in. Okay, so to access these extra keywords you can implement, it's called backend search terms and it's also called generic search terms or generic keywords. They're behind every single listing on Amazon. All you have to do is go into Amazon Seller Central, go into edit listing, and once you're in edit listing, you're gonna go to product details. Sometimes it's in a different section, but usually it's product details. You're gonna scroll down and you should see generic keyword. Now, before there was only one area, one tab you could add generic keywords. Amazon secretly added four more tabs. So you can have five in total and all you have to do is just click this add more button. Now these keywords greatly help your sales and your organic rank on Amazon because Amazon's A9 algorithm is specifically looking in this section to rank you. So every keyword you put in this section does help and every pro professional seller utilizes this backend keyword section. So right now you should have one, but you can add more and you can have up to five. And this is your chance to add Spanish keywords, more backend keywords, some competitor keywords that they're ranking for, right? Don't put any trademarks in here, but everything else is usually good to go. After you create your generic keywords, you're gonna put them in here and you're gonna to scroll to the bottom, click save, and then you're gonna start ranking for them. And it usually takes around seven to 14 days for Amazon to review your listing. And it's going to help you rank for these items. And of course, for staying towards the end of the video, I'm gonna be giving you some pro tips on what you can do and what keywords you can use to rank for these. So the first thing is understanding our listing. Our listing is a female enhancement product. So we wanna start ranking for female enhancement keywords. What are people typing in to rank uh, and what are people typing in to, so our product shows up on page number one. So simply what we need to do is look at our top competitors. So I'm gonna type in female enhancement and you can see here's a top competitor, here's a top competitor, right? And we wanna make sure they're making more sales than us. So the easiest way to see if they're making more sales than us is to scroll down to the bottom of their listing and check their sales rank. If their best sellers rank is better than ours, meaning it's lower, right? If it's a race, you wanna be number one. And the lower it is, the better it is. So this is, their sales rank is lower than ours right now. Our sales rank, if we scroll down to the bottom is, it's a 90,000 is my guess, 93,000. Theirs is 56,000. So they do have around like a 40,000 head start on us and we wanna get our sales rank as low as possible. The lower the sales rank, the more sales you're generating. So at least we know this is a good competitor that is making more sales than us. And our next step is to copy their ASIN and we're gonna start utilizing this tool called Helium 10. There's a link in the description. But what you're gonna do is go to Helium 10, go to tools, and then you're gonna to go to the tool called Cerebro. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna put in that ASIN right the asin starts with b as in boy it's right here this is our competitor and then we're going to go to cerebro type that in and click get keywords it's going to filter out all the keywords and it's going to figure out what keywords it's ranking for on amazon right and you can see the word frequency right here and these are the keywords that it's ranking for the most and you also want to be ranking for these keywords so we want to export this list and we're going to look at this list together so I exported this list right here and you can see the frequency. It says woman frequency 605 times, pills 437 times, sex 379, libido. This is pretty much the keywords that it's ranking for on Amazon. That means if somebody types in pills for woman, that keyword woman, it's ranking for that. So it might be ranking for the full keyword pills for woman, but that woman is showing up. Female enhancement for woman, 
that's another keyword. So that's it's showing up two times. The frequency would be two, if that makes sense. So right now it has a 605. So that means the keyword woman is really showing up in pills, sex, libido, Viagra, female, men, supplement, booster, a lot of these keywords it's showing up in. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is look at the keywords I do not want to rank for, right? So I don't wanna rank for this keyword and I don't wanna put this in the back end of my listing because then Amazon might rank it as a prescription pill and that would be bad. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in yellow, the ones I don't wanna rank for. I don't wanna rank for the keyword sex because I feel like Amazon might again remove my listing or mark it as an adult listing. And I'm looking at the rest. There's a lot of keywords here. Pussy cats, okay. I think erection is okay. I don't think pussy's okay. All right, so we're gonna kind of go through these and if, see if this one has Viagra spelled wrong. These are the keywords you definitely wanna be ranking for as well. And you're allowed to put this because this one is not a prescription, it's just spelled wrong. So I'm actually gonna start and I wanna, what we wanna do is try to find not only the top keywords, but we wanna look at some of the keywords that maybe we're not using, right? And those are the misspelled keywords. So I'm gonna scroll down. I know for a fact there's nowhere in my title bullet points anywhere that has pussycat. Uh, maybe menopause, aphrodisiac, butt health. I don't think we have erection. I'm a little iffy on adding this keyword, but I think we'll be okay. So I'm gonna add these. This one has Viagra spelled wrong. I like these keywords. Viagra, mm, that one's kind of borderlined. I think it might, uh, it might cause some errors, some problems long term, right? I'm not saying that if you implement these keywords, it's going to, uh, it's going to instantly cause some issues. Like if you implement the word uh, sex or a prescription uh, keyword, but over time, Amazon's algorithm may find it. So now I'm just gonna copy some of these. I'm just copying these ones, I'm gonna move them up. And I'm gonna put them into letter count. So lettercount.com, it's a free tool. Oh, where'd it go? If it'll let me put it in there. There it is. Count characters, we're at 254, so I need to delete this stimulant. And now we're good. Because remember, it's only 250 letters per section. So we're gonna go back to this section, we're gonna go to section one, we're gonna put that in there, and again, 250 per letters per section. So that's how we used letter count. And the next one is I'm just gonna do English, uh, Google Translate, English to Spanish. I'm gonna put the English keywords in here because I wanna rank for Spanish keywords as well because Spanish is the second most spoken language in the United States. And I'm gonna copy these, and now I'm gonna go back to letter count and we're gonna make sure it's less than 250 letters. And we're at 272, I'm gonna delete this one, I think we'll be good. 247, bada bing, bada boom. And we're gonna go back into Amazon and we're gonna put Spanish keywords. Then we're gonna look at another competitor, do the same thing, or we're gonna go back to this spreadsheet and see what other keywords that we're not ranking for that could be good, right? Like Climax, uh, this looks like a Spanish keyword, Rosas. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna put those in just like this. And this is just one letter keywords is really what you wanna do for the generic backend keywords. And this is going to help you rank on Amazon. You don't have to utilize those long tail keywords. You can attempt to use long tail keywords, but it doesn't help as much on the backend keywords for this area on what I learned. The long tail keywords, you can put them in your bullet points and that's going to help bigger and a much more than putting them in your generic. But you've got five sections, so feel free to test out what you think works best for you. This is just how we utilize our backend keywords.
And that's it for today's video. If you did learn something new, drop a like. And if you are an Amazon seller, I highly recommend you subscribe to the channel because we're giving you expert data and keeping you up to date on Amazon's A1 policies so you can stay on top of it and increase your sales on Amazon. If you did learn something new, feel free to drop a comment below on what you learned. And if you want us to create a video for you, drop a comment below regarding that as well. If you need help selling on Amazon, contact ehpconsultinggroup.com. Not only does our team specialize in Amazon, but we also specialize in Walmart, eBay, and Etsy. And our new service is launching you internationally on Amazon. So Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, Amazon Australia. And we would launch you in the English speaking countries first, Make sure you're getting a good ROI and then move to the other countries over time. So if you need that, you're going to have your own dedicated consultant who's working with you one on one and is personally trained with me. And they're going to be the ones that are going through your account every single day, sending you goals every week, making a strategy to make sure that your sales go from 10,000 a month to 40,000 a month to $80,000 a month which is completely possible on Amazon. So feel free to contact EHP Consulting Group today and ask us about our full service management service. I'll talk to you soon. I'm Josh Hackett and I'm signing out.